Alright, um, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. The honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, the Akin that's on the highways and byways, pushing the truth and sincerity, you know, in the ministry. You know, just the brother, you know, Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone Charlotte Camp coming at you with another lesson. You know, basically, man, the lesson I'm going to get into is uh, it's about, you know, trusting in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, uh, and knowing that that name is going to lead to salvation, man, if you have a faith, you know, and doing the works in that name, man. You know, the Lord going to bless us, man, by believing on him, man. In order for you to be saved, you got to believe in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, you really got to believe that the name that the men or that no entities exist, man. You know, you just can't call on the name of the Lord and don't have no faith, man. You really have to, you have, you will really have to believe that there's a higher power, and those are the the entities, man. Yahweh, being who the word called God, and uh, Yahweh Shah, who the word really called, you know, Jesus Christ, man. And you got to come to the um um. You know, envisioning that these entities, you know, you got to believe that they exist, man. You got to believe that they are so-called, you know, black men or Negro men, you know, that's in the heavens. You know, and in, in, in the spirit, man, that, you know, that actually exists, man. You know, you got to believe that there is, you know, uh, a Messiah, you know, Yahweh Shah, that's going to return in the physical form, man. You know, and, but, you know, with all power in his hand, man. To deliver us, man. You know, you just can't say, you know, you believe in the Lord and don't really got the vision on your mind that the Lord exists, man. You got to have that vision, man. You know, and the Lord gonna deliver us, man. If you believe on Him, man, and that we trust in Him, man. The, you know, the, the through the through the, the Spirit and the power and the name, man, of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That what you know we believe that's gonna get us out of here, man. You know, we keep fighting and keep pushing His word, man. You know, this is Psalms 20 and um and five verse five. We will rejoice in our salvation, and in the name of our power, we will set up our banners. And you know, the banners represent the truth, man. You know, going out pushing this word. You know, putting up shows. You know, breaking these scriptures down the right way, and you know, and, and informing our people who we are, man. That you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. Or the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, you know, going out telling the, you know, preaching the downfall of America and the downfall of our enemies, you know, which consider these heathens out here, man, you know, the Chinese, Japanese, you know, the, the white people, mainly being the white people, the white man, which go back to the nation of Edom, man, you know, Africans, you know, let you let you know that we got enemies, man, the children of Israel, and uh. Continue on in verse 5. The Lord fulfill all thy pretensions. Verse 6. Now, now know that the Lord save his anointed. He will hear from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shah, our power. You know, so, so many, you know, a lot of people trust, you know, in material things, man. You know, they, they trust in this world, you know, the American system. They trust in their money. You know, they trust in they, you know, their jobs, you know, their cars, you know, their women or their family or their friends. You know, they, they false um, um, preacher at their church, man. They trust in that or they, you know, they false gods. Well, you know, but we, you know, the hopeful elect, man, the brothers that's in this faith, man, the truth, man. You know, praying our part of the elect, man, the other Akim that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. We believe in the Lord, man. You know, we got we have our faith and, and uh, our mindset on Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, man, delivering us from this place, man. America gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man, this upcoming World War Three, man. And we looking for the, uh to escape the judgment, man. You know, by doing you know, doing the will of the Lord, man. And ultimately, you know, doing his work and ultimately, you know, believing in Yahweh Shah, man, that the Lord Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah, man, that he did came and died for our sins 2,000 years ago. And he's coming back in this lifetime through reincarnation uh, to, to redeem us, man, to, to deliver us.
that was, that was his name is known as Yahweh Shah, man. When you look into the word Yah means he, and Yahweh Shah means the deliverer, man. He is the deliverer, man. And when you look into the word, the name Yahweh, you know, it means he, and uh, Yah means he, and Yahweh means um, to be or exist, man. Because the Lord exists, man. You know, these people think that the Lord don't exist. Or he's just a spirit in this, uh, uh, this out there in the world, just letting everything go on for what it is. No, the Lord controls everything, man. And the Lord's spirit is, is consuming everything, man. You know? This is on um, Psalms 29 and 2. Give unto the Lord thy glory unto his name. Let me read that over again. Give unto Give unto Yahweh the glory due unto his name. Worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in the beautiness of holiness. So, you know, we give glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. The name, man, that created all things, man. You know, that created the men, you know, for the nation of Israel until the, you know, nation, the heathen nations, man. You know, we, we, you know, we, we give glory unto the Lord for creating the heavens and the earth, man. You know, because we know that that's the only way that these things came about, man. From a higher power, man. You know, we're not believing in no evolution or, 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 or the Big Bang Theory, man. We're giving our praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man, because the Lord gave us that spirit and gave us the understanding of these scriptures. That to know how everything is ordered, man, and how everything uh, um, was created, man. This is on um, Psalms. One sixteen, verse um, thirteen. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord say, uh, the Scripture say, we're going to take the cup of salvation. Mean we're going to, you know, believe. You know, and, and you know, and have this knowledge and with this understanding, and praise y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah for it, man. And we're gonna, you know, take this wisdom out your understanding and and put forth the effort, the praying that we part of the, the elect, man. That we when we call upon the name of the Lord, man, that He hear us and deliver us from our enemies, man, or from any type of judgment, uh, that's about you know that's about to take place, man. You know, um. Another scripture. This is on. Um, this is Psalms 118, verse 10. All nations could pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, will I destroy them. Yeah, kind of, so, he, so when you no know, David, you know, talking about how all these nations, man, his enemies trying to, you know, come against him, man, but when he prayed to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, you know, Yahweh, you know, uh, during them times, man, the, the Lord liver him, man, gave him the strength, or gave him that power to fight against his enemies, man. So that's what we believe in, man. We believe that, Lord, you know, when we call out to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, in them times, man, when these uh, UN troops, uh, or when these um, FEMA troops, or uh, any of our enemies come against us, we pray to the Lord that he's going to give us that power, to, you know, the the, the uh, back them up, man, or give us the power to destroy them, man. This is um This is Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from the from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that word standard mean the you know the 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 uh, put the flight man or the flee man. You know, the Lord will give us that power to put our enemies to the um flight. You know, the put you know, giving the you know, making them you know run from us, man. Cause we gonna have that spiritual power, man. We are gonna be doing all type of stuff, man. You know that that the mind can only can imagine, but in greater, man, how the Lord gonna give us that power, man. Because the Lord said that you know, the enemy come in one way, but he shall flee seven different ways, man. I mean, when they come in in that formation, man, that military formation. 
and the Lord raised this man up, man, they're going to be scattering, man. You know, that was a point to know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, you, we take it and we really believe, man, and hope that the Lord give us that power or give us that deliverance, man. You know, and we look into the word Lord, man. When you see it in all caps, man, when you go into the blue letter, it got it there, Yahweh, man. You know, it don't really say, you know, Yahweh because they don't know the Paleo Hebrew, but they got it like saying like, um, um, Yahweh or uh, Jehovah. But when you look into them words, man, go back to Yahweh, man, in the Paleo Hebrew, man. You know, the Lakawan Kadash, man, the Prior Tongue, man, or the, um, Fafish, um, the, um, the Canaanite, um, tongue, man, what they call it, man. You know, I'm gonna get this, um, another scripture. This is, um, Proverbs 18 and 10. Uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. So, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the strong tower, man, for us, man. That what we pray on, man. You know, praying, you know, in the spirit, man. That the Lord deliver us, man, from, 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 um, from evil, um, from evil. From any uh, evil or wickedness, man. And we be safe, man. We believe and pray in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And we call upon the name, man. Because, you know, a lot of these people, man, believe in the name of the Lord is God or Jesus, man. But those are English, well, it, well Greek titles, man. But God just means power. And uh, in Jesus, it's just the Greek way of saying, the English way or Greek way saying uh, uh, the Lord. Well, really, it don't mean nothing, man. Cause really, um, the way you say Jesus in the Greek is hell, uh, hasto Christos, man. You know, but you know, that word Jesus just came along, you know, in the, in the English, man. But the real name of the Lord, who they were, who they English call Jesus, Yahweh Shah, man. I mean, he is the deliverer, man, and he gonna save his people, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, Israelites, man. Um. Let me get one more scripture. Close it out. This is all um, you know, and we believe the names, man, through faith, man. For my apostles and elders, man, because we believe no names because those are the names that give us these the wisdom not to understand of these scriptures, man. You just can't open up this Bible and um, break it down for what you see in the scriptures, man. You got to have the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Yahusha dealing with you. Cause if it had been that case, man, you would have had these so-called Christians out here knowing what the Bible says, man. You know... Not them spearing their own madness, you know, thinking that the Lord love everybody, man. Because when you read the scriptures, man, they only talk about the nation of Israel, man, and the judgment of America, man. And the only way you can get that is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Believe it those names, man. That's why we have faith in them names, man. Because they woke us up, man, to the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know, and, and being set with our apostles and elders, man, to teach us the truth, man. Uh, this is, um... Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then when I turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, to serve him in one consent. So the pure language, like I said earlier, man, is the Lakawan Kadash, man. I mean, the, the holy tongue, man. You know, it was just the Hebrew, man. And the Hebrew, the Hebrew is still here, man. Because the Hebrew got to be, you know, still here because that's the oldest language on the earth, man. To this day, ain't no way a language that that been here since the beginning of the time go up and disappear, man. You still got some of the nations over there in the Middle East that speak Hebrew, man, like the Assyrians or the Arabs, man. You know the uh, Iranians or you know the Middle Eastern on uh, that cause where we from, man. We are from the Middle East, man. You Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, man. We're not from from over here 
or we're not from Africa, man. We're from the Middle East, man. We are the 12 tribes of Israel, man, from the bloodline of uh, Shem, you know, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. We are the Hebrews, man, or one of the families of the Hebrews, man, you know. And that pure language, like I said, going to be the, the Paleo Hebrew, man, that we got here, still here today that you can go online and look it up, man. Not that Yiddish, man, that these so-called Jews speak, man. They got German and, and Hebrew letters mixed, man. You know, that's the false, that's the false language, man. The pure language is the Paleo Hebrew, man. You know. I think I'm gonna get one more scripture. I'm gonna close it out. This is um This is um this is um Ephesians five verse twenty. Give thanks always for all things unto the the to the Yahweh and the to the power and the Father in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So that's why we always say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh mean you know the Most High name. Baha mean in the name. And uh, Baha mean in, and Shem mean name, and Yahweh Shah is you know who the word really called Jesus Christ, man. That's how we say it, man. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah mean the most, uh, the most high, and in the name of his son, uh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, or you know, his son, and Barak Atah mean bless, man, you know, the uh, bless you, man. That's how that what we always say, you know, Barak Atah, you know, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. Or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Barakatah, man. You know, we always coming in the name, man. And when you do that, man, you putting a blessing on a brother, man. When you bless him in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, you know, so that's the name, man. We got to keep fighting and keep praying in those names, man. Because surely, if, you know, truly, man, those are the true names that I believe, man. For my elders and apostles, Don, and all the Akim, man. You know, because them, them names are, are, are powerful, man. And they work miracles, man. And then I get, then I got me a lot of, out of a lot of situation delivering me from a, uh, a certain situations and problems that I had, you know, that I could call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and he always delivered me, man. Or you know, I, I'm pretty sure other brothers can testify to that, man. That's in the truth, man. So you know, once again, you know, I pray that the video been edifying. You know, until again, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which is the true name of the Most High and the Son. Who the English called Jesus Christ, man. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders that great missed on the, uh, teaching the truth in the ministry. And, you uh, know, and uh, Shalom to the elect, man.